central fence in 1964, and it continued on the, on Anderson Drive on the back piece of our piece of property uh, until we closed that office in 2002 and moved down here on 80, but really on the same piece of property, just expanded. We have the four offices, one here by Day Estates, one in Sandersville. We cover a 100 mile radius of any of those four offices. Commercial wise, we cover the state of Georgia. When we take calls in, um, the office girls here, that would be Marsha, which is my right hand, uh, Bridget, my daughter, and myself. When we take the calls, we page them out to our salesmen, and they all have their own little area. Um, all commercial goes to Andy or Chesley. And then all three of us here in the, hand, in the office kind of handle that and make it happen. And Andy, he schedules the work with our guys. We're close family, very close knit. And of course, Andy's worked here ever since he was in school. My stepfather said, go out there and load some sand on that truck. And I'd asked him how much, and he said, well, when you throw a shovel on there and the tire blows out, take one shovel off. Basically, I, like I say, I started helping him, and then uh, we lost him in an accident in 96. And then, so basically, uh, I had never done any ordering. I had figured a few jobs and, and he had helped me along with that as far as figuring cost and labor and markup and so forth and uh, at that time uh, it was just thrown in my lap and it was either swim or drown. Well I came in 97 when we had the tragedies. Of course everybody says you can't work with your husband but it's been great. Now when Chesley came um, it was a blessing to me for him to start because he worked on the road and everything. But it was a blessing to me for him to start learning Andy's job because he was over, he was, I mean, you know, he was just overrun. When Chesley came up to take work off of Andy, I think we actually increased work because now you got two people that can do that instead of just one. We've had several opportunities to sell the company, but I hope to see my grandchildren running this thing one day and that's what it's all about. It's just humbling to know that God's blessed us and just to know that we've got family and friends and we've got employees that support us. And that's what it's about.